Back here on Debrief, continuing the conversation on International Women's Day with an extremely talented woman here with me, singer-songwriter Liraz Charhi. After a lifetime spent performing, her latest project is a powerful message through music, a call to bridge between past and present, between cultures that used to be intertwined and for decades have been separated by aggressive politics and a lot of propaganda, a call from Israel to Iranians. Here's a clip. سلام به همه دوستان عزیزم در ایران، اسرائیل و جهان و به همین خطر از شما میخوام که آهانگ امینا رو به من بخونید از خودتون فیلم بگیرید و برای من بفرستید البته دوستانی که در ایران هستم و نمیخوان که چهرهشون معلوم بشه ما صورتشون رو تار میکنیم این ما آهانگ امینه و اگه سوالی دارید میتونید از طریق پیام های خصوصی برای من بنویسید Liraz is here with me. Liraz, great to have you. Hi, good to be here. So tell me first of all about, about this song. The song that you chose that you're calling to Iranians to, to sing about has a lot of meaning for Iranian culture as well. Yeah, my whole project is of Persian music, mostly from the 60s and the 70s. I know a lot of uh, Persian music, uh, like the, the traditional one from my family that, er that arrived to Israel. Uh, at the end of the 60s and the beginning of the 70s so I didn't know the really the music from the 70s and, and, and up but when I was in LA uh, in my my acting career I found out that Los Angeles is actually Tehran sure. and I really relieved that I can touch something from Iran you know because I cannot go there have of you course. received any responses yet? This is a sort of a brand new call, but did you, have yes. you heard from Iranians? For the last 10 months when the, this project is, came out, the first song was Nazi Nazi, and now Amane, I'm, I'm receiving so many beautiful uh, um, letters and, and uh, videos of people are dancing my, my music. It's, it's very brave. The, there is some like, uh, for an example, a, a DJ, Iranian DJ that uh, sent me uh, messages on Facebook that she's, she's um, putting my music on in a basement, like very oh. special uh, and secret uh, parties It's a Iran. testament to just, I mean, what you say that it's brave, it's, it's sort of unbelievable that you have to be brave to sing a song and, and send it to someone. You offered people also to blur their faces if they feel scared. Did you get that feeling that, that they're scared to sort of respond to you? Not at all. Actually, they're saying, well, let's make peace in our in our communication, you know, because what we think about them, it's like we think or they think it's it's not exist. You know, the, the heart is the same heart. I'm an Iranian who grew up in Israel and I have so many layers. And of course, they have so many layers. Music is an international language and it is a very, very powerful uh, um, 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 feminine uh, music. I, I chose the best singers, the brave ones, before the revolution. I could recognize that their voices are very out louder. They're not shy of being a singer. Yeah. And of course, before the revolution, a completely different world, a different relationship. Yeah. Israel and Iran were close once upon a time yeah. and now uh, can't even communicate. How did you sort of get in touch with your own Iranian heritage? At what point did that become an important part of your music? It was very traditional and my parents, they, they just needed to survive and stick to be, you know, Israeli. So they kind of deleted their, their traditional way with us when they yeah. raise, uh, raise us. Raised us? Raised us, yeah. Yeah, sorry, in English. And, and now I f I'm finding out a new way of how, how am I exploring being Persian with my layers, with my being in Israel, growing up in Israel and going to LA and meet Iranian people around the world. How do they react to you, I wonder, Iranians around the world when they, I mean, you're performing all around the world as an actor, you're also working around the world. What are some of the reactions you get? The reactions is that keep doing what you're doing because we can't. And, and you know, women in Iran, they cannot sing. They're not allowed to sing. A man cannot hear their voice. And I am an Israeli woman who sings here in Israel, Farsi. They're very encouraging my, my singing and my music. And what's very special about it that I didn't know that, didn't you? That it's, that it, that it's going to be so exciting. It's like this project 
picked me, I didn't pick this yeah. project. I mean, I stood in LA and I said, oh my God, this is a very beautiful Teherangelis. I want to be a part of it. And I started collecting records. And I knew that if I would not sing these songs, I will not be completely the woman that I wanted to be. One more example of how much more than just music, music can actually be. Liraz Cherhi, thanks very much for Thank being here. Thank you so much, and send the videos well, to Well, we want to leave our viewers with that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to leave you with that clip for tonight on Debrief. Watch it. This Thank is you. the message to Iranians that Iranians are responding to, because it's all about the people. It's not really about the leadership. Exactly. Watch it, write to her, and find us back here on Debrief tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you so much. Thank you.